Hi, this is Professor Sachin Jain explaining the concept of ortho effect. Ortho or sir effect. I'll come back to the word S I R effect later on. But ortho effect is very important with respect to organic chemistry. It is used to explain the acidic strength, basic strength, and also the electrophilic substitution for aromatic compounds or substituted benzene compounds. So let's understand this. So first of all, ortho effect refers to the set of steric, bulkiness or size related effects. Now whenever we come across the word steric, you can just relate it to bulkiness and which in turn is related to the size of the group which is attached to the particular compound. So steric factor is always related to the bulkiness factor or it's proportional to the size. Ortho effect refers to the set of these steric effects and bonding interactions along with polar effects caused by various substituents in a given molecule changing its chemical and physical properties. So the ortho effect is associated mainly with substituted benzene compounds. There are two main ortho effects which have classified in substituted benzene compounds. The first one is ortho effect in substituted benzoic acid. I call it as first ortho effect. Now let's first understand the conclusion. Ortho substituted benzoic acids are stronger acids than benzoic acid or their meta and para isomers regardless of the nature of the substituent that is ADG or EWG. It means that whenever we have a benzoic acid and it is substituted with some ortho group then its acidic strength will be stronger than the simple benzoic acid and even than their meta and para isomers and it is important that it is irrespective of the type of the substituent EDG or EWG. Now this is very important because generally if there is an EDG substituent then it decreases the acidic strength like the way I have told you to remember EDG decreases the acidic strength and EWG would increase the acidic strength. But in ortho effect, whatever type of substituent we have, the ortho substituted benzoic acid would be stronger. Now, let's understand its explanation. So, let's understand it with respect to the theory given. When a group is present, ortho to carboxylic acid in substituted benzoic acid, the steric hindrance because of the group which is very close to the COH group of the benzoic acid, forces the carboxyl group to bend or rotate out of the plane of the benzene ring. So this inhibits the resonance of carboxyl group with phenyl ring making the acid less stable as compared to the anion that is conjugate base thereby increasing the acidity of carboxyl group. This is also referred as steric inhibition of resonance and that's what I call it as Sir effect. Steric inhibition of resonance or sir effect. Let's understand with the help of the structure. So I have this benzoic acid. Just ignore the methyl group as of now. The carbon of benzene we know is sp2 and it is planar and the carbon of COH which is C double bond OOH being double bond is also sp2. So in case of benzoic acid the carbon of benzene and the carbon of COH both are in the same plane meaning it is planar. Carbon of the benzene and the carbon of the COH both are in the same plane. But when we have a substituent or ortho to the COH, the repulsion causes the carbon of the COH to bend out of the plane due to which now this carbon and the carbon of the benzene are not in the same plane. So this inhibits a resonance which would be present in the benzoic acid earlier and because of this the acid becomes less stable as compared to the anion or the conjugate base. Now we know that the strength of an acid is directly proportional to the stability of its conjugate base. If the conjugate base is more stable then the acid is very strong and vice versa if the conjugate base is less stable the acid will be weaker. So this steric inhibition of resonance is preventing the resonance, resonance of the carboxyl group with the benzene ring and that is why the acid is becoming less stable as compared to anion which is also the conjugate base. Meaning now the conjugate base is becoming more stable and due to this the acidity of the carboxyl group increases. Now let's understand with few examples. 
we have the comparison of ortho toluic acid with their meta para isomers and the simple benzoic acid so the ortho effect clearly gives you the idea that ortho substituted benzoic acid would be the strongest so this will be the first one now comparing the benzoic versus meta and para isomers we know that the methyl group has a positive hyperconjugation effect and the plus i effect at the ortho and para position whereas it has only plus i effect at the meta position remember the hyperconjugation or resonance is applicable only and only at the ortho and para position never ever at meta position like i always say meta pe resonance ya hyperconjugation sochna guna hai so meta will never ever have the resonance or hyperconjugation effect so it's clearly stated that methyl group has positive hyperconjugation and the plus i effect at ortho and para position only whereas the plus i effect at the meta position so now if we compare the para which has a positive hyperconjugation this is a stronger edg effect as compared to the inductive effect so this edg will decrease the acidic strength and the para isomer would be the weakest and the meta would be slightly stronger and benzoic acid would be stronger than both meta and para isomers hence the correct order is ortho toluic acid followed by the simple benzoic acid and the meta followed by para so this is with regards to one of the example of plus i group or edg now there is one more concept which could be asked as mcq the bond length of ortho substituted benzoic acid versus the benzoic acid now due to the ortho effect what has happened to the ortho substituted benzoic acid the coh group has rotated out of the plane rotated out of the plane so due to this now the resonance is inhibited and the carbon and the coh the carbon of the benzene and the coh group would be joined by a pure single bond but in case of benzoic acid there is resonance due to which the carbon of benzene and the coh would have a partial double bond character and we know that a pure single bond versus a double bond which is partial also the single bond would have a higher bond length as the bond length of ortho substituted benzoic acid would be greater than the benzoic acid now let's move to the other example so we have chloro substituted benzoic acid versus benzoic acid so once again the ortho substituent the ortho substituted benzoic acid would be strongest now we have chlorine atom we know that chlorine atom has a plus m effect due to presence of three lone pairs and a stronger or dominating minus i effect at once again ortho and para position whereas it has only minus i effect at the meta position now we know that a stronger minus i effect meaning a stronger ewg effect so this is going to increase the acidic strength hence benzoic acid would be weakest and their isomers would be stronger among meta and para the meta has only the minus i effect due to which it's going to increase the acidic strength but the para has a plus m effect as well which will slightly reduce the acidic strength hence the correct order would be ortho followed by meta para and the simple benzoic acid the bracket indicates a pka value lower the pka value higher is the ka and more is the acidic strength so the ortho substituted would be having the least pka value so you could also be asked the mcq in the form of pka values wherein less the pka more is the acidic strength coming to the next one we have hydroxy substituted benzoic acid and i have included the example of a uh, dihydroxy substituted benzoic acid at 2 and 6 position which are both their ortho position so again as per the ortho effect the ortho substituted benzoic acid would be the strongest and if there are two substituents at both ortho position it's going to be a very very strong acid as compared to a single ortho substituted benzoic acid hence 2,6 dihydroxy benzoic acid would be stronger than ortho benzoic acid now we have the comparison of meta then the simple benzoic acid and para ideally the meta substituted and para substituted benzoic acid should have been weaker as compared to the simple benzoic acid because the oh group has plus r effect and minus i effect again at ortho and para 
whereas it has only minus i effect at meta position. Now, due to the plus r, that is EDJ effect, the acidic strength will reduce, and due to minus i, which is EWG effect, that acidic strength will increase. Now, the plus r effect is dominating over the minus i effect in case of para position, and the acidic strength will be weaker in this case. But the meta has only the minus i or EWG effect. Hence, the acidic strength here is going to be stronger. That's why the order is 2,6 trihydroxybenzoic acid, then the ortho substituted, then meta, then a simple benzoic acid, and then para. So you have to just remember each group has what type of resonance or hyperconjugation and what type of inductive. And always remember the inductive is applicable always at ortho, meta, para, but the resonance hyperconjugation is applicable only at the ortho and para. Now we have nitro substituted benzoic acid. Once again, the ortho substituent will be the strongest. Now, when we have comparison of para and meta, once again, we have to look at nitro group having minus R as well as minus I effect at ortho and para position, whereas it has only minus I effect at meta position. So nitro group has minus R and minus I combinedly a very strong EWG effect. Hence, between para and meta, para will be stronger than meta and both of them will be stronger than the plain benzoic acid as well. So that's it about the first ortho effect. Now second one, the ortho effect is also used to understand the basicity of substituted anilines. So ortho effect in substituted aniline. It is also called as the second ortho effect or SIR effect. So it's SIR. So now let's understand the conclusion first. What's the conclusion? Ortho substituted anilines are weaker bases than their meta and para isomers regardless of the nature of the substituent. Once again, it can either be EDG or EWG. Understand the explanation. The protonation of substituted aniline is inhibited due to steric hindrance. So when we talk about NH2 of the benzene and a group at the ortho position, again because of the very small distance, the repulsion between the groups will be very high. So there will be resonance which is inhibited due to steric factor. Once again, it is steric inhibition of resonance. So upon protonation, the hybridization of nitrogen in amino group changes from sp2 to sp3 because the aniline changes to anilinium ion and this makes the group non-planar. This causes a steric hindrance between the ortho substituted group and the hydrogen atom of amino group which means the conjugate acid less stable and if the conjugate acid is less stable it decreases the basicity of the substituted anilin because the equilibrium will be shifted in the backward or reverse direction. So here also the SIR effect inhibits the resonance between the NH2 of the aniline and the benzene ring and that's why the conjugate acid becomes less stable and thereby it decreases the basicity of substituted aniline. So I have given the examples directly. Here also we can compare the pKb value and once again higher the pKb value lesser will be the basic strength and vice versa. So I have first example methyl substituted anilines which are also called toluidines. So we have para, meta, aniline and ortho. In examples you can see the ortho would always be at the last because ortho substituted anilines are the weakest bases. D is an exception. We will look at that. So, in case of methyl, once again methyl group has the positive hyperconjugation and the plus I effect. Both have uh, combinedly a stronger EDG effect. And in case of basic strength, we know that EDG increases the basic strength and EWG would decrease the basic strength. So, para having positive hyperconjugation as well as plus I will have a stronger basic strength as compared to the meta than the pure aniline and ortho would be the last. Then we have nitro and the halo substituted anilines. Now in case of nitro, once again nitro has a minus R as well as minus I effect, combinedly a stronger EWG effect and EWG would decrease the basic strength. Hence a pure aniline or simple aniline would be strongest phase over here followed by the meta and the para and ortho because of ortho effect would be the last or the weakest phase. Now in case of halo substituted anilines, 
hello have a plus m effect as well as a dominating minus i effect so uh, because of the edg effect the basic strength would be increased but the i effect is the negative i effect is dominating hence the basic strength would be weaker so aniline would be the strongest base here once again followed by the para isomer and then the meta isomer and the ortho once again would be the weakest base the exception is related to amino substituted phenols or i can say uh, aniline substituted with oh group in this case the oh group has a plus r effect as well as minus i effect so the plus r effect at the para and ortho that is the edg effect will increase the basic strength and the para isomer would be stronger but ortho effect will drag the basic strength to the third position and meta here is an exception so para substituted is stronger followed by aniline then ortho and then meta amino phenol thank you